Ladies and gents, from Lucy's reaction, this is the immune system explained one bacteria infection. Well, the channel is Gazat in a nutshell. Every second of your life, you are under attack. Bacteria, viruses, spores. I don't know why the word spores always creeps me out. But yeah, spores and more living stuff wants to enter your body and uses resources for itself. The immune system is a powerful army of cells and that fights like a T Rex on speed and sacrifices itself for your survival. Without it, you would be in no time. Eh? You would die in no time. I'm like, what the hell was that? This sounds simple, but the reality is complex, beautiful, and just awesome. An anime son of the immune system. Yeah. I'm maybe hard to read things because there's a giant light in front of me. 4,000 lumens, so yeah. Immune system. I mean, it, there are lots of videos we've seen when, you know, uh, he talks about immune system. And, you know, I, I knew the, the immune system and all the cells uh, involved is really complex and how it works. But I didn't know how complex it was uh, until I react to some of the video from this channel. So, you know, they really are, you know, autom autonomous and, you know, they work uh, communicating with each other. They fight like some kind of army is fighting or something. That's just ridiculous. So this is going to be a fun video. I looked at quite a few Kuzgazar videos already. If you haven't seen them, check out the cars. There's a playlist of video for it. Kuzgazar reactions, something like that. I upload lots of videos in 24 hours. So lots of time uh, notifications don't get sent out. So you might have missed some of them. Check out, check that out. Check out the playlist too, like Real Life Roar, CGP Grey, uh, Oli Sarcastic Production, Intern Historian. And yeah, let's watch this one. And remember, this is Kuzgazar video. You might get blocked. So I would put check out box there. But if it's an issue, I guess there's a link in the description with the original video. You know, play side by side. And yeah, let's watch it. Every second of your life, you are under attack. Billions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi are trying to make you their home. So our bodies have developed a super complex little army with guards, soldiers, intelligence, weapons factories, and communicators to protect you from, uh, well, dying. For this video, let's assume the immune system has 12 different jobs. Oh yeah, look at that. Communicate. Cause inflammation? Inflammation, I thought it was just a side effect of things. It's a job? I didn't know that. I thought when, you know, all the white blood cell, you know, rushes to an infected area, it causes inflammation as a side effect. Huh. Strategic decision. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one that surprised me in some of the videos. Like, they actually make strategic decisions. Like, goddamn. Kill enemies, activate other cells, remember enemies, standby mode, produce antibodies, mark, disable enemies, fight worms, kill infected cells. Yeah. Damn. Jobs. For example, kill enemies, communicate, etc. And it has 21 different cells and two protein forces. Macrophage. These yeah. cells have up to four different jobs. You got to be kidding me. Look at the complexity here. Macrophage has their own, uh, you know, jobs. Neutrophile, natural killer cell. Jam. T cells, yeah. Let's assign them. Here Helper the T cells. Now, let's make this understandable. First of all, let's add colors to the jobs. Now, let's illustrate the cells. The central color represents the main job of the cell, while the surrounding ones represent secondary duties. Now, the immune system looks like this. Now, the interactions. Isn't this complexity just awesome? Yeah, it is. For this video, we will only talk about these cells and ignore the rest. So, what happens in the case of an infection? I always thought inflammation is just a side effect, but apparently it's a job. Yeah, that's why lots of time people just said don't take anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs or whatever they're called, non-steroidical anti-inflammatory drugs. Don't take that because uh, if, if uh, inflammation is not that bad, I think inflammation is required to heal things, something like that. If it's, uh, you know, if it's too bad an injury, inflammation goes out of control and uh, causes, you know, I guess, you know, blood flow issue, then you need to take that. So yeah, that is something. I always thought the inflammation is a side effect and actually slows down the healing, but that's not the case. It's a beautiful day when suddenly a wild rusty nail appears and you cut yourself. The first barrier of the immune system is breached, your skin. Nearby bacteria seize on the opportunity and enter your wound. Yeah. They start using up the body's resources and double their numbers about every 20 minutes. At first, they fly under the radar, but when a certain bacteria population is reached, they change their behavior and start to damage the body by changing the environment around them. 
the immune system has to stop them as fast as possible. First of all, your guard cells, known as macrophages, intervene. They are huge cells that guard every border region of the body. Macrophages come in, where you supposed to be? <laughs> Comes with the, you know, baton, that old British type of baton and hat. <laughs> Most of the time, they alone can suffocate an attack because they can devour up to 100 intruders each. They swallow the intruder whole and trap it inside a membrane. Then the enemy gets broken down by enzymes and is killed. On top of that, they cause inflammation by ordering the blood vessels to release water into the battlefield so fighting becomes easier. You notice this as a very mild swelling. Oh, when yeah. the macrophages fight for too long, they call it... Whenever you have some kind of an injury, all, right, all kids wonder this, and you have some kind of a skin opening, you see that inside it's got watery and weird. I'm like, hmm. You, f you always feel like, oh, damn, is that, an, is that some kind of infection or something? You start to fear that. In heavy backup by releasing messenger proteins that communicate location and urgency. Neutrophiles leave their patrol routes in the blood and move to the battlefield. The neutrophiles fight so furiously that they kill healthy cells in the process. On top of Calvary. that, they generate barriers that trap and kill the bacteria. They are indeed so deadly that they evolved to commit suicide after five days to prevent them from causing too much damage. Ah, if this is not enough to stop the invasion, the brain of the immune system kicks in. The dendritic cell gets active. It reacts to the signals of the soldiers and starts collecting samples from the enemies. They rip them into pieces and present the parts on their outer layer. Now, the dendritic cell makes a crucial decision. Should they call for antivirus forces that eradicate infected body cells or an army of bacteria killers? In this case... You got to be kidding me. This is like some kind of a, you know, a zombie apocalypse resistance army or something. Some kind of horde attacks, these people kills them. There is a, you know, a kamikaze type attackers that comes and kills everything and then an investigator comes and just investigates the scene. Hmm, what should I do next? Antibacteria forces are necessary. It then travels to the closest lymph node in about a day. Here, billions of helper and killer T cells are waiting to be activated. When T cells are born, they go through a difficult and complicated training process, and only a quarter survives. The surviving cells are equipped with a specific setup. And the dendritic cell is on its way looking for a helper T cell with a setup that's just right. It's looking for a helper T cell that can bind to the parts of the intruders which the dendritic cell has presented on its membrane. When it finally finds one, a chain reaction takes place. The helper T cell is activated. It quickly duplicates thousands of times. Some become memory T cells that stay in the lymph node and will make you practically immune against this enemy. Some travel to the field of battle to help out. And All right, look, I'm more of a space guy. If you've been watching my reaction for a long time, you'd know that I'm more of a space guy, you know. Uh, so, biology is something that I only had mild knowledge about, not much. But there is always some people, especially in the, you know, uh, astronomer community and astrophysicists and people like that, always think, hmm, we are making so, so much advances in space. You know, we, uh, the advances they're making in space is just ridiculous. And all the people in biology are, you know, not even close to that. After looking at this, I'm thinking maybe it's way too much complex to compare it like that. I mean, biology is damn cool. Look at the system that our body goes through, just our immune system. And this makes me think, how long will that be? How long will it take for us to understand our body in a really precise way? Because this is way complex. Look at that, all the system that goes through that. It's like our immune system, it's own living and breathing thing that thinks and do all the things. There's a, there's a literal war going on every day to fight bacteria. We don't even know it. We just get, sometimes we just get mild, you know, mild fever. Like, hmm, fever. Let's just take some kind of a, you know, over-the-counter medicine or something and the day is done. But, uh, you know, there's a war going on inside of us. And the third group goes on to travel to the center of the lymph node to activate a very powerful weapons factory. Like the T-cells, they're born with a specific setup. And when a B cell and a T cell with the same setup meet, hell breaks loose. The B cell duplicates rapidly and starts producing millions of little weapons. They work so hard that they would literally die from exhaustion very fast. Here, helper T cells play another important role. They stimulate the hard-working factories and tell them, don't die yet, we still need you, keep going. 
this. In the battle of will, you know, there are some, you know, I, I'm thinking of the Lord of the Rings type of thing where they, they sound that weird horn and there's a battle army is forming, everybody's screaming and there is some guy who's hyping the team up, you know, basically making sure everybody's, you know, together and just uh, nobody's nervous or something. <laughs> I'm imagining all that scenario right now. This also ensures that the factories die if the infection is over so the body doesn't waste energy or hurt itself. But what is produced by the B cells? You've heard of them, of course, antibodies. Little proteins that are engineered to bind to the surface of the specific intruder. There are even different kinds of antibodies that have slightly different jobs. The helper T cells tell the plasma cells which type is needed the most in this particular invasion. Millions of them flood the blood and saturate the body. Meanwhile, at the site of infection, the situation is getting dire. The intruders have multiplied in number and start hurting the body. Guard and attack cells fight hard, but also die in the process. Helper T cells support them by ordering them to be more aggressive and to stay alive longer. But without help, they can't overwhelm the bacteria. But now the second line of defense arrives. Billions of antibodies flood the battlefield and disable lots of the intruders, rendering them helpless or killing them in the process. They also stun the bacteria and make them an easy target. Their back is built to connect to killer cells so they can connect and kill the enemy more easily. Macrophages are especially good at gnoming up the bacteria which antibodies have attached to. Now, the balance shifts. In a team effort, the infection is wiped out. At this point, millions of body cells have already died. No big deal, the losses are quickly replenished. Most immune cells are now useless and without the constant signals, they <laughs> commit suicide so as not to waste any resources. But some stay behind, the memory cells. If this enemy is encountered ever again in the future, they will be ready for it and probably kill it before you even notice. Veterans who became historians, I guess. Damn, this is something. The level of evolution that might have taken place for things like this is just ridiculous. I can't even start to imagine that. All these years, God knows the level of infections, the level of diseases that you know our ancestors get and our body start to fight that and over the years it all accumulated into this kind of you know sophisticated system that we have right now because this is way too sophisticated and just you know all the years that it probably took to get to this place is just ridiculous this was a very very simplified explanation of parts of the immune system at work can you imagine how complex this system is Seriously. even at this level when we ignore so many players and all the chemistry Life is awfully complicated, but if we take the time to understand it, we always encounter endless wonders and great beauty. That was awesome. That was so good, man. I love this channel. It was This was a simplified explanation, but it was so fun. All right, people, that was the immune system. Uh, yeah, but, um, as, since I started reacting to things, you know, especially biology stuff, I start to appreciate the field more and more because it's really complex. All the years of evolution perfected the system in a way that is damn complex. I don't know how long it would take us to properly, you know, basically understand it. And, you know, yeah. So people are thinking, hmm, will we, will we be able to make uh, synthetic humans? I mean, look at this shit right here. We will need to not just understand, but, you know, create a complex system like this if we ever want to think of creating another human type synthetic human type thing so this is way too advanced things man god knows how many maybe it will take centuries for us to perfectly understand our bodies and basically duplicate it and copy it something like that all right people if you like my reaction to food like and subscribe check out the reaction there's a link in the description check out the castle playlist check out the end cards and i'll see you next time